hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be demonstrating how to use alexnet to train um a data set which is we're going to be using images as our data set and just to train to demonstrate how alexnet can be used to train um some given sets of images and now so we're just going to do just kind of two class training with alexnet and we're going to see how it works and about the code the code we're going to be using is going to be the link to the code will please underneath this youtube video you can click the link and then download the code now let's get started firstly you need to get your data set uh depending on how, how many um what how many classes you want to train maybe you can have two classes you can have four classes and so in my case i'm just going to be doing two classes and then my data set I've already gotten them and for the sake of this video this tutorial i'm going to be using um just two classes and lead to data set uh, one thing about how this works is for you to get a better result a result that you can justify anywhere you need to use large data sets don't always forget you need to use large data set so now in my own case uh this the, the, i'm going to have two data set these two classes put the first class inside one folder which this first folder is nct which this is all the images i want to train and in the second class also i put inside one folder which i put more this doesn't matter because i'm just trying to uh just demonstrate how to use the alexnet code to train images and get your result your accuracy the how accurate the matlab the matlab script and the data set is so now i'm just using small results so that this, this video can be fast so the more the data set the better the result and the more justifiable the result is gonna be so so i put both of them inside two folders separate folder this class one class two and then i put in everything inside this folder called data so i'm going to um i'm going to click on this and copy and copy the um the file part so copy the file parts for this folder this general folder and then add to your matlab and then you post paste it here so it's going to be able to bring out the the folder on your matlab um sidebar so now we want to train the folder the 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 images in this data and so now we need the alexnet code and i'm going to i have said the code the link to the code will place under this youtube video so the alexnet code this is studied here um i'm going to copy it like that Just copy and then come and paste it. So now I've pasted this code. The code I'm going to put in there, you just copy it and paste it. And if you want to learn more about this AlexNet code, it's on the MATLAB website. You can check it out. I will mean, also put down the link to the to the AlexNet code on MATLAB website so you can read more about it. So this code is basically pick the images then train them saying use 0 0.7 which means use 70 percent of the images for training and then use 30 percent for validation which is testing just validate the results to be sure and calculate the accuracy using alexnet accuracy so now um, if you want to learn more about this you need to go to the matlab website it's explained in details so now once you have post paste the code right now so what we're going to do is we're going to change this in the code there's only thing we're going to change now this my for my, my 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 images are in this folder called data so i'm going to put the data here i'll delete the test and put data so once i've put data in the code that's all i need to change in this code then i'll try to run this code so let's run this code now i'm running it now it's saying i should save it so i'll save it as untitled 33 save it save, save it to 
so let's wait so we can clearly see that it's already running it's saying busy so it's running and let's see what the result is gonna be so it's saying that this is the same size the number of classes two as i've said and then it's going to calculate the accuracy for us so let's wait uh, it's going to also plot the graph of the because I use the uh, many approach in this I think I use six approach yeah six so it's going to calculate this up to one to six yeah so let's wait for the results now as I've always said use like data set to get a very good result a very good result and just my but I just use a little because of this video so that's why it's so like to be faster for me and I'm going to get quick results for you guys and so finally it's done training and it's it has calculated it said that uh, most of the information is here validation accuracy is hundred percent which means that it's one so this is the graph for this uh, for this AlexNet training and then you can see the accuracy is one and for you to say your your MATLAB script AlexNet MATLAB script or your data set is okay and the experiment has been done well you must get an accuracy of above 0 0.7 so when you get accuracy of about 0 0.7 you are basically it's a very good result 0 0.7 so in my case i get an excellent result which is one and that's all that's all for this video thanks please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel let's see you some other time